Well, welcome back to Good Day, where we're all about fun, local, and positive. And there's plenty of fun all weekend long in and around the Toledo area. So let's take a look at the Go419 weekend rundown for the first weekend of October. So it's the first weekend in October, the perfect time for Oktoberfest or Oztoberfest on Catawba Island. Mm. When Ost Brewing celebrates Oktoberfest with two days of authentic German festivities, complete with food, live music, dancing, and beer, of course. So Oztoberfest starts. It's at 3 this <laughs> afternoon and goes until 11. The fun picks back up at 11 tomorrow morning. Have fun at the Toledo Zoo all month long with the Harvest Fest. It's included with your zoo admission. It features giant pumpkin displays, pumpkin animal displays, seasonal food and drinks, and autumn-inspired activities. The zoo is open day today and tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And make sure to head to the Old Orchard neighborhood of West Toledo tomorrow morning for the University of Toledo Homecoming Parade. It starts at 10 a.m. on campus, heads east on Bancroft, north on Cheltenham, west on Christie, then south on Middlesex back to the campus. And of course, after the parade, there are plenty of activities taking place on and around U Toledo campus, which leads up to the homecoming football game. The Rockets take on the Miami of Ohio Red Hawks at the Glass Bowl. Kickoff is set for 3.30 Saturday afternoon. And take in some fall family fun at McQueen Orchards in Holland tomorrow and Sunday from 10 till 6. You can enjoy the annual Apple Butter Festival. Since 1982, it's been the perfect way to celebrate fall. There will be food, crafts, a cider mill, farm market, pick your own apples and pumpkins, pony rides, and much more. That, and that's the video we're looking for. That's the fun night you can have at the Queen <laughs> tomorrow, yeah. Hey, get spooked this weekend at the Walcott House in Mommy. Here you go, that's what we're talking about. Visit the Autumn Market or take part in a paranormal tour along with shopping and seasonal treats. Take advantage of the free self-guided tours through all the historic buildings on site. Live reenactments with period costumes, demonstrations, and storytelling. Free admission, free parking at the Walcott Heritage Center. It's on River Road in Mommy. Pumpkin cider. Caramel apples, more pumpkins, kettle corn, and cookies, <laughs> corn maze, and a wagon ride all at Pumpkin Palooza tomorrow and Sunday at Kyle's Produce and Greenhouse on Airport Highway in Swanton. Remember, Kyle's is the home of the $2 <laughs> pumpkin. I think Kaylee probably took home about 10 of them yesterday, so. right? The spirits of the River Raisin invite you to experience spine tingling tales and legends that have lurked around for centuries. Visitors can enjoy live music refreshments and interactive vignettes on the 1817 farmstead as part of October nights this weekend at River Raisin Territorial Park in Monroe. And it's time for some Wicked Pickens. Sunday from 10 till 4th in Monroe County Fairgrounds, vintage, antiques, rustic, furniture, home decor, farmhouse finds, bohemian goods, <laughs> rusty treasures, along with costume contests, trick-or-treating, music, food, and more. So many words. So many yeah. words. So many words. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, it's Heritage Farm Fest at Carter Historic Farm in Bowling Green. So check out blacksmithing, wagon rides, cider pressing, farming demos, a celebrity pie eating, and a farm-to-table meal. All this in more on a working 1930s farmstead. The event is free and open to the public. Yeah, so, cool. so much going on. Now, Ooh. if you're looking, if you're looking <laughs> for more fun, just go to our website, WTOL.com, and click on the Go419 tab. I mean, if you didn't find something in, out of that list. I don't know what you're going to do. But there's more, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Good day is back in a moment. I think we're going to try out the big green egg. All right, let's, let's do stay it. Stay with us.